All right, my friends, uh, I want to give it up for YouTube. I love YouTube. Um, just watching a video from Knowing Better talk about psychology. Just, man, I tell you, I love YouTube. A lot of the people on my side, the right side, um, are critical of YouTube because of the censorious censorship, censorious, whatever that word is, uh, about how they've been. And, and look, I get that. I wish they would not do that, but it's not my business. It's not my platform. I'm a sharecropper. Um, and a lot of these people who are being upset about YouTube have made, you know, just a bank from being on YouTube's platform and, uh, and made uh, YouTube money too. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just like, if it weren't for YouTube, we'd never know who some of these people were. But I, I just want to, but even more than that, I, you know, I don't care. I, that, that's, I wish YouTube would be less sens censorious if that's, if I'm saying it right. But be it as a man. Here's why I love YouTube. Because as a boy, I hate school. All right? I hate it. I hate it sitting in a classroom, having some person drone on and on and on at me. And I had to sit there like, oh, how dare I think outside the box? How dare I goof off? How dare I joke? How dare I stand up? How dare I stretch? Yeah, how dare a boy does what boys do? Which is act in a way that is... Um, a lot more hyper. There's no other way around that. Boys are more hyper than girls. The schools of the antiquated Prussian model where you just got to sit there like this, like good little soldiers, are built for girls because girls can sit there better than boys can. Boys are excitable. They're hyper. They're experimenting. In fact, if you look at uh, you know things like IQ test, uh, and I don't agree that IQ test is a true measure of intelligence, but if you look at things like IQ test, uh, boys are so much more random, more varied, higher standard deviation than girls. More on the, the far end of high intelligence, more on the lower end of the high intelligence according to IQ test. Because boys are just like that. We're just, we're experiment, we're, we, we, we random, we try things. And I'll give an example. My wife, uh, Charlotte, had a friend who's a third grade boy got in big trouble at school uh, because he did an experiment while sitting at, while sitting at the lunch uh, the chow hall he mi he mixed his milk with i think like dr pepper or something like that i can't remember what it was and you know his teacher got a woman got upset like how dare you do that kid you're, blah, 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 you're ruining good milk and she forced him to drink the milk even though he's like well i don't like it i just want to see what it tastes like and as she said, you only be able to drink water for the breath of the semester or something like that. It's just the freaking thing is nuts. And, you know, my Charlotte's friend and my friend, too, went down there, uh, Hell's Bells, and they, uh, and they were able to rectify the situation. But the issue, again, is a girl, a teacher in this case, doesn't understand the mentality of a boy. A boy likes to experiment, try new things, try varying things. They, uh, they get up in class. They can't sit there still. They have to think, blah, blah. And so for me, sitting in class is painful. I'm sitting there thinking... I would rather be anywhere than sitting here listening to this guy drone on and on, or lady drone on and on. Even in college, college was better because you're able to pick and choose. You could uh, college because you're an adult. They treat you a little bit more like adults. Apparently, not so much anymore. But you know, they did back then, um, where you could actually choose your classes. You could actually get up. You could actually ask questions. Even you could go to the bathroom if you needed. Um, but anyway, either way, even that, I hate it. So I, I was never very uh, a, a learned person, other than my own reading. So because I could not stand sitting in a chemistry class and having these forced experiences, even to this day, I can't stand being forced to read something. I, I hate it. I have to read it, and, but my mind is ready to read it. And uh, and even so, even if I were to sign up for like a, a Bible study, I, I hate being told. I just I can't do it. I said, I'll never be good in a Bible study because all right, now we're going to read Matthew, you know, whatever. I'm like I can't, I can't do that. I just that's that's not me. But anyway, so YouTube comes along, and I'm reading this guy, Knowing Better, his, watch his videos on this tape. I mean, he's got so many videos out there. He's fantastic. Um, and I just, it's just, it's for me, it's a visual. I can see it. And this morning, I say, I asked myself, I said, why do they bail hay? Like, what's the point? And what's the point, the difference between straw and hay? And I didn't know. And I told you about, uh, I asked my son Liam, like, what if he knew? And he did because of Minecraft, which is ironic. So I don't go to Google and read. I go to YouTube to visualize. Um, I go to YouTube to learn how to do, you know, change your uh, garbage disposal, to learn how to change the uh, the fuses on your um, your Christmas lights. I, just to learn, you know. What I'm saying? I, and I just it's so much more beneficial as a learning experience uh, for for me. And I guarantee a lot of boys in particular, but I get it. Some girls too. I mean, I'm, I'm not throwing, there are girls who are different. There are all boys who are different. I mean, I will never ever be one to say we all follow the same model because we're all unique individuals. 
However, the majority of girls uh, and the majority of boys have learning uh, capacities differently. I just, I truly believe that, having two and two. Um, and then my wife and me, my wife now, with that said, are my girls different 100% of a similar to my wife 100%? No, absolutely not. Everyone's unique. But anyway, YouTube for me has just been, I cannot tell you how much I've learned on about energy, about, I just, I cannot, I mean, social security, my, my, my man Devin, I just, I've learned so much on YouTube and to sit there and, and somewhat bash the platform, which has allowed me to just enhance my skill set for free, for free. I, I, I just can't. Now, if YouTube you know, bans me and takes away my income stream from YouTube. Well, that stinks, but I've still, I've still netted a whole lot more than I paid um, for YouTube by far in a way. So I just want to say thumbs up to YouTube. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many subscribers uh, or how many people I subscribe to. And I just, I can't keep track of all because every day I find something new that I find interesting. You know, history, electronics, uh, you know, just you name it it's crazy i just you know i just so much knowledge out there that I share for free on youtube and for a guy like me who's hands-on and needs to be visual it's just the perfect platform and uh and i'm a better person for it without question and i have a sneaky suspicion you are a better person for it too or else you wouldn't be sitting here watching this video to begin with all right we'll see you guys